Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you a cute and easy way to use up some of your old canes. You will need a light colored clay for the base. I'm using some scraps from other projects. Roll out the clay. I'm using setting number 2 on my atlas. Use a sponge and a piece of paper to sandwich the clay in between them and then imprint the texture with the roller. The textured side will be the back of the earrings. With a teardrop cutter, cut out the two shapes. Smooth out the edges on the sides. Usually I turn the shapes with the texture side towards me and carefully smooth out the edges with my fingers. This greatly reduces the amount of sanding you might need to do after baking. After smoothing, turn the shapes back with the texture towards your work surface. Put them on a piece of paper and then spread different colored pastels on the bottom half of the earrings. I'm using orange and fuchsia to match my cane. To make the little doors, use some brown clay rolled out on a thin setting. This was number 6 on my atlas. With a knife, cut the shapes, then put them on a piece of glass or tile to smooth out the surface, and use a kneading needle to create wood texture. Make a tiny ball of brown clay and attach it to the door. This will be a doorknob. Put a small amount of liquid clay on the earrings. We need it so the doors stick to the base, as the pastels create a barrier between the two pieces of clay. Attach the doors to the bases.
Use some more liquid clay around the door and then attach a small snake of green colored clay around it. Cut the excess and poke it a bit with a needle to imitate moss. Now let's make the roof of the fairy house, and this is where the old canes come in. Cut the necessary amount of petals, warm them up between your fingers, and then arrange them. In my case, the petals were overlapping and I had three of them. When you have the petals arranged, squeeze the tops of the petals together and with your fingers gently stretch that section up. Now we need to embed the jump ring into the earring. If you have a jump ring that opens up, make sure that part of the ring is the one embedded in clay. Add a small amount of liquid clay on top of the ring and then add the petals of the roof. Squeeze the parts together well and then smooth out the areas that might have the fingerprints. At that point, bake the earrings according to the manufacturer's instructions. After the earrings baked and cooled, I decided to add a thin border to the edges. Use green acrylic paint and either a sponge or a brush to add the color to the edges. Let the paint dry and then use a thin layer of varnish to seal the surface treatments and then add the findings. The idea behind this earrings is very simple. See what old canes you have. They could be just regular Skinner blends. They don't have to be complex canes. This has so many possibilities and so many different color options. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Till next time.